Let's get to it. YouTube, what is going on, you beautiful guardians? This is Mesa Sean back at it with some Destiny, and uh, let's talk about this week's uh, Nightfall. It's uh, Cerebrus Vi 3. Right, 3. And it's um, no burn this time. Uh, it's got everything else, Juggler, Nightfall, Epic, Angry, the whole shebang. So make sure you're switching weapons uh, constantly because you will run out of ammo. Uh, whatever you're holding in your hand, uh, uh, ammo won't drop. But the cool thing about Juggler is that a lot of uh, heavy ammo drops, but that shouldn't be a problem, right? Because all of you have a boatload of heavy ammo from uh, our buddy Zer. So now before we get into the loot drops, let's talk about some safe spots. So obviously you're watching one right now on your screen. This is a safe spot I always use for the tank. Now, the tank can kill you from up here. You just gotta watch and see where he's aiming. And if you see that thing pointing at you, duck to the side. Because there is about maybe like two to three seconds from the time you see it actually firing up at you. And you can duck to the side and avoid it. And we're gonna go over my usual safe spot for Cerebus Vi. It is non-cheese. I, I'd like to say it's lactose intolerant because you are totally out in the open. But these two little areas right in the front as soon as you come in. The, his splash damage from his rockets basically can't kill you and also you know we made sure when we did all three today me and my clan mates we always made sure we had a warlock for self res we made sure we always had a titan and we were those bubbles of weapons of light because it was very very well needed so now here's what I would recommend in terms of weapons. Now, a lot of the Scions are going to be really annoying. However, uh, they've got Void Shield. So if you've got a Word of Crota or an Atheon's Epilogue BB Gun, those are very helpful. Um, one of my teammates was using those. I stuck with the Fang of Ryut. Uh, even though it's an arc damage weapon, it's just I love the fact that it's got 27 rounds and spray in place. So that worked for me. Uh, also, uh, a lot of the Cabal have Solar Shield. So a Vex Terrific Class, Vision and Confluence, uh, Black Hammer. Uh, anything with solar damage also would be work well for your primary and secondary. So again, here's a uh, spot one where we're behind. Now, even though we have shields up here, that little ramp that's right in front of us, again, um, I've showed it in old videos. Uh, even though it's out in the open, if you stand behind it, his uh, rockets, uh, for some reason, a splash damage. If you're just a little bit to the right of the ramp, it's it's not going to do any damage on you. Uh, it gets a little frustrating sometimes because when the ads start spawning out to the left, they can start shooting at you. But uh, once he starts working the room and starts walking towards you, then we back up into this corner here where, again, behind these crates right here, his splash damage rockets shouldn't kill you. However, his Gatling gun can shoot in there and kill you. So, you know, just got to be careful. Uh, we got lucky with here. I, I think in this particular one, we end up getting to a point where he just stands right in front of us and we just keep shooting him over and over. I think uh, I was using a black hammer here and I, I'm terrible with precision shots. But he goes down really fast. I mean, each one of... Each one of the Nightfalls took us at really 10 to 12 minutes. It was quick. Now, granted, we had Gallahorns and Truth. I think uh, each time, two of us had Gallahorns and one had a Truth. So he went down very, very quickly. My recommendation is go in with your best noob tubes. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Gallahorn. I know a lot of people don't have it. I'm, I finally got one uh, about a couple of weeks ago, so it worked out well. But if you don't, I would use these two spots here, the ramp in the front, as well as this little area right here. Clear out all the ads, use your rockets, do not go back into the room where you uh, just came out of to spawn in, because uh, ads will then come in there. So anyway, that's it for the advice, let's go into the loot. So first run, one of us gets an exotic, of course not me, but uh, Pickle Puncher gets himself a Monte Carlo, which uh, he already had I believe. Falico gets himself some strange coins, and I get the calming. I was actually really happy with this, because one, look at the charge rate and impact. This thing's great. And it's arc damage. I primarily only use my Light of the Abyss, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this to mix things up and not rely on my Light of the Abyss. And again, I only condone fusion rifles in PvE, not PvP. And again, an exotic drops, of course not for me, so again, uh, furthers my claim that if you play with me, you get an exotic, because I won't. So, uh, Pickle Puncher gets shards, uh, Tinks gets a universal remote, Shawnee gets the Chosen. And actually, I was I was about to buy the LDR, because I need just a second all-around sniper rifle, and I hate relying on the you know, Black Hammer so much, because I'm not good with precision kills, but check it out, it's got Firefly on it. Now, a little bit on the low impact, kind of like a Prudence, but pretty pleased with that, and especially since it's got Firefly. Definitely psyched about it. And on this last one, legendaries for everybody, and RNG gods drop a deuce on Shawnee. Uh, let's see, Falico gets himself a Prudence. Mesa pfft, gets himself a rocket launcher. I believe that's a one-way ticket. Is that what it is? No, the Cure. Ugh, I, I have way too many rocket launchers. Uh, Pickle Puncher gets himself uh, the Devil You Don't with uh, Mulligan eh, and uh, aiming down sight rangefinder he's got on it. So he, he's not happy about that. He's going to dismantle it. 
So that's it. So let me know in the comment section what you guys got from United Falls if you knocked them out today. So drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter. I'm Mason Sean. Check out my stream. Links will be in the description. I've been streaming a bolo lately. I know I'm saying that every time. I'm trying to get a Twitch partnership. And I actually bought a face cam today. So uh, you get to look at my ugly ass. Well, old old ugly ass sitting on the couch 10 feet away from my 55 inch if I get it set up properly. Bevel mode engaged. Uh, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Stay beautiful, Guardians. Mm -hmm.